we have just discussed how to verify connectivity with remote servers using such commands as ping and traceroute. Also using nslookup command, you are able to get IP addresses for a specific host name of a remote server. In this lecture, I'll explain you how to enable SSH on Linux computer and how to connect to such Linux computer remotely. It's a very common case, especially when you rent some virtual private servers on one of the hosting services like Amazon EC2, DigitalOcean or Google Cloud. You'll usually get SSH enabled out of the box and using generated credentials like username and password, you are able to connect to remote virtual private servers from your local computer. And for that, SSH protocol is used. SSH protocol allows you to encrypt entire communication between two hosts that communicate via public open network like Internet. And SSH uses TCP and port 22. And that means that if you want to connect to specific public server by SSH, this port TCP22 must be open. In this lecture, I'll explain you how to open this port in Docker container, and we will connect to Docker container running Ubuntu from our local computer. In my case, this Mac OS computer. In your case, it may be Windows or any other operating system. We will simulate such kind of remote connectivity, but actually it will happen on our local computer and we will connect from local computer to Docker container. But exactly the same happens when you connect to a remote server located somewhere else. Great, let me exit from this container that was running Alpine image and close this tab and also let me exit from this Ubuntu container, I don't need it anymore. And I'll create brand new container from scratch and I'll use additional docker option dash p publish that will publish internal 22 port TCP that is used by SSH to one of the external ports on my computer. In such case I will be able to connect to docker container from my local computer. I'll use following syntax docker run dash it Next, I'll add this option, publish, dash p, and I'll publish internal port 22 to external port 2222, like so, 2222, and after colon comes internal port. And finally, I'll specify name of the image I'll want to create this container based on, and it will be Ubuntu image. And again, with this option, I'll publish internal port 22, to external port 2222. And in such case, I will be able to connect to this container via SSH, but I will use custom port 2222. All right, I'll show you that in a minute. Let's press enter and create this container. Container was created and I'm in. And let's now try to type command SSH. And you'll see that command is not found. And the reason for that is that SSH does not come out of the box with this Ubuntu image. And we will need to install additional package in order to enable SSH communication. And afterwards, we will start SSH D service. Let's do that. Let's first update apt get, apt get update, updated. And now let's install package called OpenSSH server. Let's use apt get install command and here I'll type open ssh dash server like this. Installing, yes. It will actually install a bunch of other additional packages. That's why it will take some time and uh, claim some space on your hard drive. Let's wait a bit. I see prompt about geographic area. Let's choose 8 Europe. Time zone 23. You see that uh, RSA keys were just generated because RSA keys are required for SSH protocol. And now it seems that everything was uh, configured and set up. And let's now try to enter SSH command. And I see that now this command is available and I am able to use it along with other options like dash L address, dash C keep her spec, and so on. Now let's verify whether SSH service is up and running or not. For that, let's enter command service SSH status. And I see that SSH D, daemon, is not running. Let's start it. Service SSH start. 
I see message starting OpenBSD Secure Shell Server SSHD. And now let's verify status again. And now I see that SSHD is running. And that means that now I am able to try to connect to this server remotely via SSH. But please notice that now I am logged in as root user. And if I enter who am I, I'll see this information as well here. And by default, connections via SSH or other remote service to the Linux computer as root user are blocked. It is actually default security measure. And let's actually quickly create additional custom user and uh, let's try to connect remotely under this new user via SSH. Please recap that we are able to create new user using either user add or add user commands. With add user command, you are able to initialize new working directory, set password just in one command using interactive prompts. That's why I'll use it, add user. And here I'll specify name for new user. I'll set my name. You could use your name if you want. Adding new user, creating home directory slash home slash Bogdan. And here I could set new password. I'll set it to one, two, three. Retype one, two, three. Here I'll press enter everywhere and information is correct. Let's make a short pause now and continue after it. I'll see you in a moment. Bye.